Hi Kiwis, here's your Alexandra and welcome to another video series. In this series, the painting fundamentals, I want to help you as a new painter <clears throat> to get a hold on what is uh, essential for painting and uh, how to achieve your goals. In this first video, uh, I will talk about what you need really to start painting miniatures, beside the miniatures of course. Well. Obviously, you will need two things, paints and brushes. So, what kinds of brushes uh, are out there, what uh, should you buy and, uh, <clears throat> well, let's dive right into it. Let's start with uh, the easiest uh, thing that you could buy. It is a painting starter kit. I recently made a review video about uh, the uh, uh, Warhammer uh, Citadel Paints Essential Kit and uh, with it they come the starter brush. This is a synthetic brush, uh, quite tiny and um, it will last you maybe for the first uh, two or three miniatures until he is already unusable. Why is that? Because this is a synthetic brush and synthetic brushes have uh, the tendency to uh, get their tips destroyed by uh, simply bending into a hook until it is uh, not usable anymore. What you really want is uh, real hair um, brushes. This here is a, a Rotmander, Rotmander Kulinski brush <clears throat> and uh, as you can see he is uh, quite old. He has uh, paint stains here all over and I have used him uh, for several months now and he still has a perfect tip. So this is a size 3 brush. Uh, then I have also a size number 4 and here you can see uh, the immediate size difference uh, between those two brushes. Uh, and they are uh, used for several different uh, applications. Normally uh, you wouldn't use uh, such a tiny brush like uh, here the uh, starter brush. He holds way too less paint in your bristles and uh, you have to go back and forth uh, between the paints and uh, <coughs> your, uh, your brush all the time. And so uh, I really uh, recommend for your uh, first uh, brush purchase, a size 3, um, Rotmada um, brush, but there are also sable brushes or other um, uh, natural hair brushes uh, that you can pick from. Um, <coughs> so um, if you look at uh, GW brushes for example, here this is a glaze brush, there are also uh, real hair brushes. This one is also uh, with a nice tip, but he has uh, the same size as the uh, starter brush. This here is, for example, the M Glaze brush. <clears throat> we have here older brushes, the base coat brush from Citadel. He is a little bit bigger. <clears throat> he is uh, about a size 2.5 maybe. <clears throat> so uh, it is always better to uh, get with a, a little bit bigger brush than uh, normally because bigger brushes uh, have the tendency to um, hold the tip of the brush way better than uh, smaller brushes do. And always uh, <clears throat> when you're not using them keep the tip. <laughs> so then uh, what other brushes are out there? Obviously uh, you get your dry brushes for example. Here we have another uh, Citadel, this is a dry brush, <clears throat> and they get up, uh, beat up pretty soon. So uh, you will run through them uh, quite a lot. <clears throat> but for your first uh, few miniatures I would uh, suggest a size 3, then uh, a dry brush for your uh, first uh, things, and a size 4 or 5 for bigger purposes. Then you need an, uh, an old beat up brush that uh, mustn't be an expensive one. This one here for example for applying uh, uh, washes and uh, applying uh, white glue to your base. So with those four brushes you can uh, paint almost anything. Okay, brushes aside. Now let's come to the paints. Um, 
Well, you could uh, start by uh, picking up a starter set from whatever color manufacturer of your choosing. So, for example, we have obviously the Citadel paints from Games Workshop. Then there are, uh, for example, Vallejo paints. Here they have them in game color and, for example, here Mecca color. This is an airbrush color <clears throat> or uh, model color. Uh, here, for example, this one here, I have uh, refilled this in a, in a, into a different pot, but this is Vallejo model color. This is a different paint range than the game color. <coughs> then uh, we have, uh, for example, uh, the war paints from uh, Army Painter. They uh, look like this here. Normally they come in dropper bottles. I also refilled them. Here, this is from a paint set uh, for Zombie Side, and uh, this here is from the Mega Paint Set. So, uh, what color uh, range do you choose? Well, uh, this is totally up to you. Uh, also, you have here Secret Weapon and Scale Color. You see, I have a very uh, a wide vari variety, sorry, a wide variety of uh, color manufacturers in my painting collection, and uh, this is because I don't specialize on any of the paint collections. Um, I just pick the colors for the color and not for the manufacturer. So, uh, for your uh, first few colors, you need definitely several things. <clears throat> first of all, you need. Uh, the main colors, meaning you need a good red, a pure red, a moon red, I would say in German, the uh, brightest red that you can find, the purest red. Then you need an uh, ultramarine blue, this is uh, the purest blue you can get, and then you need uh, a sun yellow, like this here, for example, aerial yellow in Citadel. Those are the three main colors you need. Then you need obviously black and white. So with these five colors uh, you could theoretically mix everything. But uh, besides this five I would recommend you get a nice green tone and for that I would uh, suggest a dark, um, a dark green like this here, angel's green. Then you need um, a good brown tone. Uh, the one I suggest would be Mornfang Brown, for example, from Games Workshop. Then uh, a nice bright orange. Uh, here, uh, Fuegan uh, Orange Fire from uh, Vallejo Paint is a good example for that. But also, you could uh, definitely use uh, instead. Trollslayer Orange from GW, or maybe Lava Orange from Warpaints. So it's up to you. Um, so an orange, then we need a purple. So uh, Alien Purple, for example, from Warpaints, or a Vallejo Model Color Blue Violet. Those are nice uh, purple variants. <coughs> so let's go with the Warpaint. And uh, what else? <coughs> so, those are the main colors I would uh, say you need for uh, your first paintings. Then you need a silver. I would suggest a mid-tone, for example here, Claymore Blade from War Paints or uh, something along that line. This is a, a mid-tone silver tone. Then you need a, a nice gold tone, for example, Vallejo Model Color Gold. Then uh, a nice dark brass tone, uh, always uh, Warblock Bronze from uh, Citadel is always nice. Yeah, those are the prime colors with that you can uh, paint almost anything. <coughs> Obviously you can uh, widen your, uh, your paint range uh, after that with maybe a gray, a pale green, uh, a dark blue tone. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, not to forget skin tones. <clears throat> so, for a nice skin tone, I would uh, suggest Barbarian Flesh, for example, here from the War Paints. 
or for Vallejo, maybe a rosy flash. What do we have else? Uh, what else do we have here from GW? <coughs> we have a Bookman's Glow. Those are all uh, nice flesh tones. You see, the flesh tones are all very different. <coughs> um, that's because, well, uh, human flesh tone is different in uh, any ways. So uh, every human has a different flesh tone. And, uh, well, you can uh, certainly uh, mix those up uh, with other colors uh, for your special needs. So, uh, then you need washes. Uh, as the first two washes, I would highly recommend uh, Citadel Nuln Oil as a black wash and uh, Seraphim Sepia as uh, the second wash. Or, if you don't have, like Seraphim Sepia, you could go with Agrax Earthshade or Reichland Flesh Shade. So, those three are interchangeable. <coughs> go with the one uh, that you like. And there you go. This is uh, the complete paint set that you would need. This is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 colors. And uh, you're good to go. With those colors, uh, you have, well, your bases uh, settled. And with that, what next do you need uh, for painting? You need a palette. <coughs> well. Uh, the first thing uh, you could grab is uh, some sheet of plastic, like this here, for example. This is uh, the topper of a, of a box. Here, for example, from a Pringles uh, can. Those uh, will serve you well in the first uh, two sessions. Uh, then, obviously, you could uh, go here for a wet palette. Um, I showed you uh, in my latest painting challenge how to uh, make a wet palette. This is how it looks like. There's a, a sponge in there. Here, you see, sponge with water, then baking paper on top in a nice uh, topper container. This is uh, the container from the G GW Static Grass. And, uh, well, it closes nice, and, et voila, you have a white pellet. <coughs> so, um, I guess this is enough for this uh, little introduction video. Um, Oh, two things uh, you also need for uh, your first time uh, miniature assembly and uh, painting. You need plastic glue for your plastic miniatures. For example, uh, Revel Contactor Professional, this year. Or if you have uh, the starter kit from GW, the Citadel plastic glue, it's uh, basically the same thing. Uh, and you need super glue for your resin miniatures. Uh, or if you uh, are going old school with your uh, um, metal miniatures. So what this is, this is a Sienna Acrylate. Uh, this is um, a bonding agent that will keep stuff together. Yeah. That's all for now and we see us in the next video. You Alexandra.